T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Who is deadlier? The prehistoric world was fraught with large predators impossible to escape from. But today, I'll focus on just two of them, the legendary T-Rex and the feared Spinosaurus. Can you imagine a fight to the death between these two? One, T-Rex. In this corner, measuring up to this big fight, being 12 feet tall, 42 feet long, and weighing in at 8.4 tons, a brawny killing machine with an excellent sense of smell and an insatiable appetite. This is the so-called king of dinosaurs, the amazing T-Rex. But first I'll make something clear. I know the T-Rex's arms are tiny and you can laugh as hard as you want, but these little arms were strong enough to tear your flesh off by scratching you only once and making you bleed. If you thought hiding was an option, T-Rex had good night vision better than an eagle's and not even Hawkeye might come up to this level. But the death trap is its bite with a six ton execution at anywhere those teeth clung on to finally crush the bones. After all, a single T-Rex's bite would be capable of shattering a car. 2. Spinosaurus In the other corner, being 59 feet long and weighing in at 9 tons, a giant predator whose size gives it an intimidating appearance with a face similar to that of a crocodile and some spines that make it look like Godzilla. This is the frightening Spinosaurus. Its most important feature is its spines, and scientists theorize that they were used to store water. So this dinosaur would always stay hydrated to deal with any fight. This reckless animal could live both on land and in the water since it was quadrupedal. This means that same as the current crocodile, you didn't know where the Spinosaurus would attack you from. Are you taking the phone from mom? Charlie! It could even wait for prey at the nearest pond. But one of its deadliest behaviors was the ability to swallow prey like a pelican. Once this terrible dinosaur had caught you with its teeth, you went right to its stomach as if you were buried alive. 3. The Battlefield Unfortunately, these two legendary and prehistoric characters never met. This is because, on one hand, Tyrannosaurus rex existed at the end of the Cretaceous period, 67 to 65 million years ago. On the other hand, Spinosaurus also lived during the Cretaceous, but 95 to 93 million years ago. So time wasn't on their side. But today I'll put these wild hunters in the most neutral and vital place for the existence of these enormous creatures, Isa Nublar from Jurassic Park movies. If you're wondering about the reason, that's very simple. Isa Nublar was equipped and designed exclusively to house different species of dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus, so there's no better place for them to fight. To spice it up, I'll take them to the center of the island where there's a huge artificial lagoon. I have a hunch that they'll use it. 4. Time to fight I'll stop talking about irrelevant things and let's jump into action. Of course, T-Rex attacks first, looking for its rival's neck. But Spinosaurus turns its back at the same time, and the spines become a big problem for the enormous carnivore. In the meantime, Spinosaurus, taking advantage of its size, pushes T-Rex away, trying to make it fall so that it is left to the Spinosaurus's mercy once the vital areas are attacked. T-Rex does not want to be food for Spinosaurus, so it needs to do something to get rid of its opponent. Luckily, the tiny but strong T-Rex's arms manage to get Spinosaurus away by tearing its body and leaving it in awful pain. But Spinosaurus adopts another technique, and just like a crocodile, it bites T-Rex at the leg to drag it into the water where there's no way to escape. But as T-Rex is bipedal, it manages to escape by bending its head and biting Spinosaurus's body. It's time to change the strategy, so Spinosaurus hides on the edge of the nearest lake and stays in the water until the right moment for its ambush arrives. Time has come. 
Now you'll know whether T-Rex figures out Spinosaurus's trick, or if it'll fall into the death trap. 5. The Last Breath Unfortunately for Spinosaurus, T-Rex isn't just any carnivore. Its vision is extraordinary, and the camouflage on the edge of the lake might distract other rivals, but not the T-Rex. So whereas Spinosaurus is waiting on T-Rex to fall into its trap, T-Rex had it figured out already, and using the speed that characterizes it, T-Rex grabs its neck to never let it go. Once this bite breaks bones, grabbing Spinosaurus by the neck means the end of the dinosaur. T-Rex sent Spinosaurus to sleep with the fishes. This was too much prehistoric action for today. Did you like this confrontation of the Jurassic World? Would you like to see more? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Here you are, more incredible videos. Don't miss out.